What's happening, beautiful gamers? Blank here, and welcome back to another episode of Sons of Aura. And look at how we look now. We look absolutely insane. We are right here at the crumbling basilica. Just to show you guys how we're doing, we pretty much maxed out a different set just to have a little bit of variety. And I gotta say, we look incredible. I did sacrifice the armor penetration and I changed it for haste. Now we have maximum haste. Just look at that speed. Insane with a two handed weapon that does a buttload of damage. And we change the. Um, what do you call it? The, 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 the power, the, the codex. So my attacks reduce the target's armor by 50% of damage because we remove the target's the, the armor penetration. And then at the same time, since we... Uh, honestly speaking, I like the pommel that was doing like two times damage, but that was only a 10%. This one is every fifth hit is 175% more damage. I think that that's better. And of course, we hit so fast that it's going to happen pretty often. We're in the Crumbling Basilica. This is where we're going to be finding our brother. Our brother. Or priest. Keldron one more time. And I guess at this point, we just got to figure out what is it that's going to happen next. Can we even open up this door? Huh. I mean, sure. Every single time. I kind of forget that there's a lever that we can use. By the way, friendly reminder to all of you guys that if you guys are enjoying Sounds of Aura, you guys can let me know by leaving a like and... If you guys haven't done so yet, subscribe to the channel. It would be absolutely incredible. I mean, it's always super appreciated. And well, it's it's just it's just awesome if you guys do so. Yeah, this place is not gonna be easy. These are the basic enemies and they're not dying in one hit. I was actually considering cleansing some of the other areas before coming to the basilica. But at the same time, the previous two episodes, we were having like an easy time, if I gotta be honest. So I decided, well, might as well just. Increase the challenge and up it up a little bit. Uh, I did change my talismans and everything. Like right now, we are full on damage and parry windows, of course. Okay, look, wait, th that guy's in there. You guys see him? You guys see him? I, I don't even know how to parry that thing. Uh, that thing is never easy to parry, but we can go on his back, hit him two times. Perfect parry. You know what? I can actually FaceTime him before because of the set that I'm wearing. My set pretty much does that. Whenever I take damage, the Bloodborne style, I can hit the enemies back and I can start healing. What is this? Die. Die. Don't fall. Aladia's code. What are you about? When you use a testament build, you gain a damage shield of 10% of your maximum health. Oh, that's actually cool. That's actually neat. Pretty nice. And how do you look? Eh, I like the look of my armor better. Oh, by the way, you guys remember that we spoke about this place over here, the big door? Unfortunately, the big door has no content whatsoever. I already confirmed that with the devs of the game. So that's just in there for the sake of being there. And the grave, you guys remember that we saw a guy behind some bars? That's the end of it. There is nothing else. Um, Yeah, there is nothing else. Maybe, maybe content for the future. But it's just a huge maybe. I mean, of course, many uncertainties. It's an indie game at the end of the day. And it took a while for this game to be developed and released and everything. So, yeah, we, we don't really know uh, what's going to happen next. At the very least, we do know that this incredible game, it's going to offer us a bunch of content. <laughs> or it does offer a lot of content, too. What's, it, what's even the point of coming this way? Just Just for the sake of it? Sure. Now, if the whole crumbling basilica is super short, I might put it together with the previous episode. But I don't think so. I think the crumbling basilica... I mean, just like I said, whether the episode is 20 minutes long or one hour long, it depends on like the, the place that we're cleansing. Or I, there are other islands that we also have to go through, so maybe I'll just mix them up. Another piece of the set, maybe? A recipe for vodka. And then everything here has been grabbed. And with all of that done, then that means that at this point, we can just go up and finish up that. Oh, something that I think that is awesome too, is that if you guys see below my bell, there is a counter. It says four. That means that my next hit is going to do 175% more damage. 
I really like that counter because I thought that the 175% more damage wasn't that worth it until I actually realized that, well, it is permanent. Like, it is not like, it is not like a, how do you call this? When, when I'm saying permanent, it means that it, it is accumulative. So it doesn't really matter if you stop hitting them for a while or not. The, the counter is not going to go down. And I think that that's pretty nice. Uh, we might want to cleanse out of this area before going up. Let's kill this guy because he's in the way. Oh, wow. Dick. Oh, and then we have that guy, which we don't really want to jump towards to just yet. Okay, let's go down first. There is many enemies that we have to slay before we do anything else. And that's okay. Slaying enemies is my hobby. I think as a knight, or a full-on knight, or a knight-to-be... Uh, I thought for a second this was going to be able to be taken. No, you're going to take it down. Okay, fine. Fine. That's okay. Army of Warriors. I challenge thee to the most epic battle that you guys have ever faced. A battle against a knight. A battle that would prove to transcend history. Well, I guess, even if that battle is supposed to transcend history, it doesn't mean that these guys really stand a chance. What is that sound? I can hear somebody playing an instrument. So, if you hear the sound of an instrument, it normally means that there's an NPC close. Yo, the power of haste on this weapon is insane. Talking about the power of haste, I was actually analyzing and taking a look at different armors and weapons. Mostly weapons. And the power of haste on some weapons pretty much don't allow enemies to move. So my guess is that that's why the devs made some enemies that are so strong. All with the purpose of balancing out the fact that some weapons are just way too fast and destroy everything way too quick. Look at the music, so good! There is a path to fall over there and there is a warrior, sure. Ahaha. Ah, wait, is this the... Oh wait, is that a bell? Oh shit, that's a bell! I mean, yeah, I could trigger it, but this is obviously the way to go, so I still gotta go down, yes? And I still gotta explore that section below. And, um... And yeah, I know how to get there. There might be... Mm, let me walk pretty fast. Maybe there is like a ladder or something for a shortcut. Yeah, because you see everything below. And it seems like the top is the way to go. Yes? Okay, let's see. Does this end here? Uh, yes. So there's going to be some items to get in there. Beautiful. I'm not going to be resting because... Honestly speaking... I don't really want to be fighting all of the, all of the enemies again. I feel like trying to defeat all of those enemies again. It's not difficult, but it's just not something that I'm really into. Plus, I want to get the... The guy that is playing the, the accordion, I believe, is the name of that instrument. Another ladder over there. Okay. Where are you, bro? That sound, it seems like... Death is the only answer to whatever it's happening in there. Okay. We can go around. Yes. Be careful with those rolls, because those rolls normally lead to my death. Wait. Oh, right. This is the other end. Is there going to be like a shortcut? Like a ladder or something that I can trigger? Not really. Nice. And as you guys can see, that's something... Maybe, maybe this armor is not going to be as good for boss fights. But as you guys can see, like, I'm struggling a little bit. Like, I, I didn't want it to... I didn't want to replace my other armor. Because my other armor, I was feeling like, oh, you get a you get a nice shield whenever you're fighting enemies. So why would I want to replace that? But then I realized that with this armor, if they hit you, you just have to, like, fight back. And that's just too good. 
Are we getting closer to you? Is that you, buddy? I can hear you. It's getting stronger. Wait. Wait. Oh, maybe he... Oh, I'll take those. Ah. Ah. I see you, my friend. I see you. What say you? Wanna go to Stars Bar? They claim you come to appreciate a melody through hours of practice. Or by playing symphonies in front of hundreds of people. But I think it comes from something else. From something that makes us squirm out of fear or boredom or both. Okay. It hides between drips of water. Between footsteps on stone. Between words. By treasuring the space before the note. Between it and after. That's how you truly appreciate a melody. You know, you could come to Starspire. There's two other musicians over there. Maybe you guys can make a band. Hmm. I've been craving a little company, I admit. I accept your invitation. Even silence must fade eventually. Let's go. Now, unfortunately, we lose the that little beautiful music. But that means that we have three musicians. I do not know how many musicians there are. But just like I said, one of them is in the Sunken Tower. One of them is in the Forsaken Village. Uh, and um, now this one is in here. I don't know if there's any other musician, but if there is any other, then I'll just... If I find it, when we find it, we will just mention it like, Oh, look at that, the other musician. And I'll just remind you guys where we found the other three, so you guys know where to go. Also, at some point, I have to show you guys the whole map, so you guys actually have a... I mean, by showing you guys the whole map, you guys actually have the, the opportunity to decide whether or not you guys want to visit some areas first or later. Probably at the end of the game, I'll just also give my opinion on which places to visit first. Hey, you want to fight? That's fine. Look at this, look at this. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna face tank him. Look at that, look at my health. He, he cannot keep up with... He really cannot keep up with my damage. Like, we hit so fast that he cannot keep up with that healing. It's just insane. And if there was something that heals me up for a percentage of the damage that I deal, I would 100% equip it because that would make me pretty much a vampire. <laughs> with the armor that I have and, and a healing and the speed? Oh, boy. Right, look at that. It's a protector. Come here. Yeah, sure. I mean, sometimes you gotta do a little bit of different things. Just just to keep it spicy. Oh, wow. Let's go. <laughs> I wonder what level of difficulty the end boss of the game is going to have. I did see some comments. Oh, what is this? Is that? That's what I think it is. Yes! So you guys know what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I am actually, as soon as we are up, I'm actually gonna be heading back to Star Spire and improving my weapon 100%. And then we'll continue back on this area just to clap chicks. But hey, that's the other um, the other item that we needed for the upgrade. So that means that we are missing. I don't know. Maybe that's the last one. Because we have to use the red ones, and then after the red ones, you have to use the. No, I'm sorry. You have to use. Is it the red ones first and then the yellow ones? Or is it the yellow ones first and then the red ones? Huh. I'm not sure. Oh, come on. Really? Since we had died then, that was the perfect moment for us to actually go back to Star Spar and do whatever it is that we needed to do. I actually was able to use all of the yellow chunks. And as you guys can see, we're at 19 level. And then we were able to put one level on the mod and one level on the Koreas. The other ones, we didn't have enough materials for them. And I'm not sure how to get them. I think you have to farm them. Um, and of course, I mean, if that's the case, then maybe in a little bit, I'll just do the farming for that. But you just to max other things out. You need one more tool to be able to level this one further. And I believe that it's just one more level and then that's it. I do not know if there is more. But anyways, it's time for us to keep going on this whole section and... Probably, I don't know if there's going to be a boss or not, but we know that we have that quest with Caleb and maybe he is going to be the boss. Because he was all like, you will see when you go to the Basilica. And I'm like, hey, I'm sure, buddy. Now, 
We are three full levels stronger. Yes, this is what I love to see. Look at that. Things will just die. Oh, some of them are still alive. Now, the money that we're collecting here is nothing too impressive, honestly speaking. And with our current build, farming gold is like the easiest thing ever. You literally, literally, all you need to do is go to uh, Ishar in the graveyard section and then just face tank every single enemy. Is that a priest over there? Now, I know there is a lot of these guys. I don't think I need to fight them all. So what I'm going to do is I'm trying to see if there's an item that I might have missed. Right. You guys are way too many. I'm just saying. I'm just looking for goodies. You know what I'm saying? Like if I see a shiny... Oh, he hit me. Good job. And I healed it back. See a shiny or something. I have to... Have to interact with it. Have to try to get it. Nothing on this end. Sure. Then how about the other side? Fortunately for us, there is... You know, this is something that I do appreciate about this game. Like, I do not see... Other than a couple of enemies, I haven't seen anything that hits you and sends you flying. And of course, I mean, that... That, that, that kind of means that enemies cannot really, like, gravity kill you. And I appreciate that, because... Gravity is fun and everything, but it's not like... It's only fun whenever you fall because you didn't do a good jump. But when enemies have the, the chance to like send you flying, that's that's like bad. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, we can just face tank him. Or we can do this and wait for him to hit. Can you, can you please just die? Okay, you know what? Die. Die. Yes. Enemies, please. Hello, you're not going to use your shield? If you don't use your shield, you're super dead. Stay. Gave him a chance. Yes, they dropped the scriptures. And a talisman. Oh, what does that one do? Let's see. Talisman, talisman. The better is given a second chance after receiving a fatal blow. That's not bad. The question is how many or how expensive it is to actually get that. What is that talisman? Here it is. It costs two. I do not know what's the maximum amount of like slots that you can have. But considering that you can really farm onto those scrolls. That might be something also that... I mean, before before finishing everything in the game, of course, we are going to be pretty chunky. Like, I'm going to be going ahead and I'm going to be trying to level up everything and get everything maxed out if I can, as long as I know where to farm. I, I just need to look for them. There's items on the other end. I, I don't know if there's a limit. I would say that if there has to be a limit, there would be like 10. Like, after you get 10 talismans, that's it. But... I, I mean, not ten, 10 talismans, but like 10 slots. I don't think that the game will be like, oh yeah, you can put as many as you can. You just have to farm forever. That would be really weird. Uh-huh. Um, I can see it. Yes, I can see that. Please, let me go. Let me go. Let me go. Let me... Oh my god. I, am I going to have to jump from the top? I believe that there is a path over here. But I can just... Okay. So I guess the only way would be to go from the other side. Yeah, because I want that item. And that item seems to be like a piece of armor or something. I could have equipped the talisman that prevents me to take foul damage. But at the same time, it is like, why would I waste, waste my space on a talisman like that? Not something that I really wanted to do. What's up with the music? It reminds me of Star Wars for some reason. Ah, a couple of you guys. You actually cannot really kill them. I mean, you can. What you cannot do is block them. Do a double hit over there. Wow, 2,000 damage in one of them. That was insane. And then this area seems optional because it is like a little bridge. Yes. I can go over here. I can drop, but then this drop is kind of like really, really bad. I gotta like walk slowly, heal up just in case. And then, do I want to go this way or the other way? Hmm. Hmm. That's something that you never know. Oh, look at this. Just, just, just very fine in case this guy is protecting something. Yeah, whatever. Oh, yeah, he's definitely protecting something. He's protecting a hat. Yep. The power of electricity is just way too good against these things. And just one thing that I was imagining. 
is instead of investing on armor pen, right? What we can do is invest a lot of critical chance or critical damage. And then you just use the electricity, you block the attack, and then goodbye. Like, hit them on the back for like 5,000 damage. Come on, slowly, slowly, slowly. We can do this. Yes. Excellent, excellent. Yes. And then we have to like drop in there. Beautiful. How do I do the rest? Um, this looks tough. Okay, I think I think we got it. I think we got it. Yep, yep, yep. Yeah, there you go. No, no, no. Don't fall in there. Don't fall in there. Okay, good. There you go. Then slowly walk over here. Get in there. Don't fall because that's 100% death. Hello there, a new pommel. I'll take that. And what do you do? Deal 50% more damage and take 5%... Wait. Deal 50% more damage and take 5% of damage dealt. Oh. So you do more damage by a lot, but then you take damage back. You know what? Ouch. That honestly sounds like a lot of fun. That sounds like a really, really bunch of fun. Of course, 5% of the damage dealt. I do not know if it is affected by damage reduction. Because that would mean 42% less. So I'm trying to compute in my head. So if I do 500... 5% of that would be like 25. And then if I reduce that by like 42%, that would be like 10. Can I reheal that back? That would be a question. Because 50% extra damage, that's a lot. And I wouldn't mind wearing it. Actually, I would love to use it, if possible. Give me the medal. Ah! Two warriors! Are you guys... You guys really want to do this right now? Yeah, you know what? Let's go for it. This is what I was talking about. Like, you can... Oh, shit. The ability to be able to, like, heal back with this set is just incredible. They were super strong. They could have killed me, but I didn't even have to think about it. I just needed to, like, hit them. Okay, I see some items. I see some materials. That's good. Are these scrolls of laces? No, those are just the pants. How many How many pieces of the sets we have? So we have the helmet. We have the pants. Yeah, we got the whole set. Beautiful. So now I can just store that and be, and be good. Couple of dead enemies. That's fine. Um, we have another thingy that we can sell. I'll get it. Nice. And then after that, I guess... Wait, no interaction in here? Wait, there's no way. There has to be something that I'm missing. Maybe you need to cut this? Wait, I thought he said, meet me at the crumbling basilica, no? Oh, is that you? Is that Calder? Wait, is that him? Hello there! Cradled upon a pulsing tentacle is Calder. They excommunicate. He leans comfortably with a look of veiled containment upon his face. The slightest twitch on his lips and the suggestions of motion behind his closed eyes suggest he's lost within the depths of a dream. What's happening? Despite your best efforts, he does not wake, but you notice a slight shifting as the tentacle which cradles him tightens its grip. Okay, sure. But then what's... Oh, it's a chest! Oh, what's that? Place the putrition vessel. Oh, shit! What is this? I cannot hit it! It's getting dark! Is this insta-death? What's happening? I have no idea what just happened. Yo, what the fuck? Excuse me? Oh, shit. So, look at the bottom. Look at the bottom. You can see the creature at the bottom. I mean, we can get this talisman. Both the various weapon head effects are... We oh, so this is good for like... For like dual weapons or something like that. Yeah, because... My guess would be because it says... 
both the better weapons head effects are active at the same time when you're wearing like dual weapons i guess that could be cool because we only have one head so that's it okay so nothing else happens and this finishes it up so then that means that the mission is over wow so that completes that guy's mission okay that's pretty cool i wasn't expecting that but hey that's pretty fantastic so i guess with that done right here shorter episode once again but this is where we're actually going to be wrapping things up for uh the day next episode we got a couple of places to visit we already did this one we have the cinder hold and the lost laboratory and this place which we found which is i believe the giant something the colosseum something probably gonna go to the colossus first try to see what's happening in there and if it's short we will just you know skip things here and there like just do one thing at a time but anyways i hope you guys enjoyed the episode thanks a lot for watching as always and i'll see y'all in the next one